Okay, all right. All right. Uh, so uh, I, I'm talking to a couple of retired educators here, right? Correct. And together combined, we're looking at how many years? About 80. About 80 years. Wow. Uh, you've seen the changes. Yes, and I'm going to guess every damn one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what were a couple of the major things, changes you've seen that have stifled you in being able to actually teach over the years? What well, happened? education departments, the U.S. Education Department, Tennessee Department of Education, and Memphis and Shelby County try to strangle teachers by requiring them to teach exactly the same thing in the exact same sequence. And theoretically, every teacher in Memphis City Schools should be teaching the same lesson at the same day. Uh, also, the emphasis on standardized testing, which takes all the creativity out of kids' minds, because it is all about the kids, it's yes. not about the teachers. Yes. And uh, all of the things that, that bureaucrats try to make teachers do to enhance education, which takes away from it, like all the professional development and all the observations and uh, evaluations, and it, it seems as though it's almost a plot to avoid everything but the actual teaching of students. But I would, it would surprise you if, that, if I told you there is a plot and well, has been a plot? I don't know if it's a plot or not, but it certainly, things are moving that way. Well, tell, tell you, I would, I would I ask you to go ahead and, uh, and watch several documentaries on it, but the Rockefellers standardized, weren't they to standardize the uh, education for control, for control purposes, and there's even a statement out that, I'll paraphrase it, but it says that we don't want artists, educators, scientists, we want obedient workers, and then we're going to teach them just enough to be obedient workers. We have enough lawyers and this, that, and the other. And so it's been well documented that that's what they've done. I don't know if you've probably been on vacation and maybe haven't seen the news, but in the last couple of days, there was a, um, some news came out on Common Core. Hidden cameras, they were talking to the publishers of the books at Common Core, and they have the people on the high publishers, high place publishers, saying, Oh, we hate the kids. It's not about the kids, it's all about the money. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, they're, we're just recycling the same crap under a different name each time. And so, is that what you found to be true? Is like, you know? Mm, uh, I can't say that I actually saw evidence that it was all about the money and the hell with the kids, but it certainly seemed likely. <laughs> it certainly seemed likely. The kids were the last thing they thought about. Oh, absolutely. The kids were numbers, kids weren't people anymore. Sure, sure. And I think true teachers teach from the heart, and that didn't matter anymore. As a person who went to school when you could get an education, I can quote my old friend Henry David Thoreau that says, sometimes circumstantial evidence is compelling, like when you find a, a trout in the milk can. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful.